what's up everyone welcome to another unboxing video for today I actually have two games to unbox but before I actually start I want to say two things one I got a haircut as you might be able to tell uh, for all you people out there who are like oh your hair looks so terrible why don't you go get it cut oh, we don't like it I got it cut I didn't get buzz cut but I got it cut so it looks much better uh, it's still a little frizzy and stuff right now because I didn't comb it or anything I was out for a long time today so wind and all that nature stuff uh, it's screwed with it and yeah it doesn't look great but you know it looks better uh, also I got good ass shave here so I didn't get rid of the beard but I got rid of most of it it's still it's still there you can stay you can still see it, it looks good uh, in my opinion, you know, everybody's going to say, oh, it looks so bad. Or some people are probably going to say, oh, get to the unboxing. And jerk off to those boxes. So, anyway, that. And the second thing was that I was supposed to have a Silver Linings Playbook review today. And I didn't because I screwed up and I looked at the times for a... Uh, at, for this theater, but I screwed up and I looked at the times for yesterday, not today, and they're completely different times, and I got there too late, so I didn't get to see it. I was like, waiting for Silver Linings Playbook, please, and they're all like, hey, you already started, you fucking idiot, and I'm like, oh, so I didn't go see it, um, and I'm going to see it tomorrow, so expect a review for that tomorrow, and that means my Hitman Absolution review will be delayed until Wednesday, which is fine, because I still did not beat it yet. I've been busy last week, so look forward to that uh, review for both of those things. So, yeah. Anyway, now let's get into the unboxings before everybody's like, You're giving me blue balls here, I need to... So, which one should I start? I I'm going to start off with the older one first. Put that right there. Alright, so the first game I'm going to unbox here is WWE 13, which I got for Black Friday. And the reason why I unbox this game is because this one actually comes with uh, a playable superstar, I don't know, I just blanked out for a second, Iron Mike Tyson, of course, Mike Tyson, so there's going to be actually a code in there, maybe some other stuff, I don't know, some goodies, I'll show it off. So anyway, WWE 13, I'm actually looking forward to playing this because I do like WWE games, and I'm pretty sure that's CM Punk on the front. I don't know. Uh, CM Punk was a new superstar when I stopped watching WWE, so. Alright, I got my sweet ass knife here. Sexy lady on it. Can, can you see it? It's a dragon and a sexy lady. And it's a weird shaped knife. Just perfect for me. Alright. So. Rip that shit off. Come on. Alright, All right, WWE 13, there's the front. There's the back, Live the Revolution, Stone Cold Steve Austin, my favorite wrestler right next to The Rock. Actually, I think he's my favorite. The Rock is second. Uh, so, yeah, let me see. Uh, Predator Technology 2.0, I don't know what the fuck that is. WWE Live, WWE Universe, biggest WWE roster ever. Choose from nearly 100 superstars. Damn, okay. And you could create your own. And I'm going to be creating Derpy the Smurf, you know that, boy. If you don't know who Derby the Smurf is, screw you. Alright, so, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, go watch my gore plays for WWE 12 on my other channel, Gore the Movie Guide 3, if you want to know. That's too, that's where he was born. So, anyway, WWE, WWE 13 is the front, there's the back, there's the side, unblocked it. And it comes with a game add on code, like I thought. But is this for Iron Mike Tyson? Yes, he is. There he is, look at him. He has a degeneration shirt on. Yeah. Oh, I think you can see through that. I think I'm gonna have to uh, put in this code right now. So there you go. Mike Tyson. He kind of looks a little weird there, but you know, whatever. Um, you get that, and you get a manual, but it is not a very impressive looking manual because it is just a piece of paper, and it comes with what is this? Above to access the WWE 13 Xbox Live game features. Okay, so uh, the code on the back here, which I'm not going to show you, is the online pass pretty much. And let me put that back in there. And let me show you it when you open it. There you go. There you go. There you go. WWE 13. I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh, subscribe to my Gordon Movie Guy 3 account. Uh, if you are a big fan of that account, I know I haven't been put, posting any stuff up, but I will be very soon. So look forward to um, a Gore Place for this, Halo, Hitman, freaking Call of Duty, all that stuff, you know. 
It's late, but you know, whatever, at least I'm doing it. Next thing I am going to unbox, and I'll make this quick because I know this video is going on for way too long. This game is, of course, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which in a way is kind of like WWE 13, so it's cool that I put it in one video because, of course, you have a bunch of dudes beating the crap out of each other with some weapons. But some of them aren't people, but that's fine, you know, whatever. And, you know, just... A lot of hurting. So, I was looking forward to this game. Uh, before it came out, I was a little skeptical. I was like, eh, it looks okay. I mean, I like the Sony characters. I do. I love Nathan Drake. I love Cole from Infamous. Kratos, he's not a likable character, but he's a badass, so... I like them for that reason, I guess. And, I mean, there's other ones like Parappa the Rapper, Jack and Daxter, even Ratchet and Clank, which... I think is an under. I mean, it is an overrated series, not underrated. Uh, in my opinion, someone's gonna kill me right now. But it's overrated. I think Jack and Daxter is underrated. But um, yeah, I, I was looking forward to it. I was. So I got it. And the second reason I got it is because I had a twenty-five dollar gift card and I had a game that I could return because I didn't want it uh, for like thirty-five bucks. I returned that game. Got thirty-five bucks for it. I had twenty-five dollars. Uh, 35 plus 25 is 60, and I bought this for 5 bucks after tax, all that stuff. And yeah, I got this for 5 bucks. I got this and the PlayStation Vita version because it comes with it. So, well, I love how I said I'm not going to try to make this long, and I probably made that about 3 minutes right there. So, you know what? Let's unbox it quick. Hurry up. Quick. Quick, hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Quick. Come on. I'm sorry. So, some people hate it when I don't show me actually unwrapping it. So, here you go. There you go. Fucking losers. Uh, so, so anyway, uh, the first thing you get is... Oh, actually, I'm sorry. The only thing you get besides the disc is the online pass. And it's a cool little online pass. I'm going to try to block it. There's no way I'm going to block it out here. I'll try to block it out uh, so you don't see it, see through it, because I might not play this tonight. Um, there you go. It says online pass on there. Don't worry about it. And, of course, because it is a Sony game, like a Sony... Um, tight, I mean, a Sony made game. It does have a background to it, which I love. I love when Sony games have backgrounds. Any games, any games in general. Uh, and I love that. That's one thing I, I will give credit to Sony right there. They really make their presentation to their game uh, case amazing. And you have all the characters there. Hell, I might even want like a poster of this because this looks really cool. Just real quick, there you go. Uh, put that back. Ugh. Come on, get in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get the fuck in there. Get in there. And uh, I don't know where the code is to download the PS Vita version, but it should be here. So anyway, there's the disc also. I didn't even show that. And that's what it looks like inside. That is the back. Got the back. Got that. Got the side, which the side is terrible. It's just like, it's like they just typed it out of a Times New Roman font and said, screw it, put it on the side, I don't care. No, make it even look cool, whatever. No one cares about that. I do. So, mm, fucking lose. So anyway, there you go. There's the unboxing for that. And WWE 13, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a longer unboxing, but you know what? This one was more like a just a screw around unboxing. Me just making dumb jokes and laughing at stuff and, uh, yeah, so anyway, there you go. Look forward to a review for this also, probably this weekend. Uh, WWE 13, probably not. I don't know, you know, probably not. But uh, maybe, if, if if I do decide to do a, a review for that, it'll probably be somewhere in December. So, you know, maybe mid-December, I don't know. Because I don't have much to do in December besides review, uh, bleh, review movies. So, you'll see some game reviews. So, yeah. so anyway, there you go. That and WWE 13, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.